everybody, it's Dr. Joe and Unicorn Remy, and today we're going to show you my top seven treatments for a stiff knee. So let's get started. Yeah. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. So there can be a lot of reasons for a stiff knee. Most of the time it's muscle tightness, sometimes it's just an injury, sometimes the injury causes muscle tightness. So one of the first things I like to do is patella mopes. And patella mopes are a great way to kind of get that stiffness out of a knee because even though the kneecap or the patella sits on top of the knee, if it's tight in there, it will cause a lot of stiffness in that knee and it'll cause it um, to have a really hard time bending your knee. So for patella mopes, all you do is really you're just moving that kneecap around so i like to kind of grab it on the sides to start off with and now if you don't have a specific injury like a dislocated kneecap this is fine you can kind of push it a little bit and if you have a stiff knee it's going to be a little hard to move it around but i usually just take kind of two fingers on each side and i'm just starting off by pushing side to side now i'm not pushing down you don't want to push that kneecap down into the joint so you just want to do a side to side motion it's not pushing down into the joint. So I'm just going side to side and you can see mine's pretty mobile. It's moving around pretty easily, but if you've got a stiff knee, you might have to push really hard to get it going. So maybe just 30 seconds to a minute this way, and then you can do up and down. So I'll just take a, the thumbs on the top, fingers on the bottom, and then just slide back and forth. But same thing, I'm not scooping down into that joint because that's just gonna cause more irritation. I'm really trying to take that kneecap and move it up and down. And so again, if you've got a stiff knee, maybe an injury or some tight muscles, that might be a little hard, but the more you do, it should loosen up a little bit. So um, again, you know, just maybe 30 seconds to a minute each way, and then you can slowly progress your time on that to really get it moving. So once you have that kneecap a little more mobile moving around, then you're going to go into some stretches. So I like to then start um, with the stretches with the calf. The calf muscles come and they actually cross that knee joint right here. They come up this way. So if they're tight, they're going to pull on that knee joint and cause some stiffness in there. So there's a lot of different ways you can stretch the calf. I like just using a strap if you're um, on the floor. If you can't get down on the floor, that's okay. You can do this in your bed or on a couch. So take something that has a loop. You can use a, a strap. If you don't have a strap, you can use a belt or dog leashes work really nicely. Just take that loop and kind of put it around the ball of your foot. Um, you don't want to do it up on the toes. You don't want to do too low because you're not going to get a good pull. But what you want to do is just relax the muscles. You're pulling with the strap to get your foot to come up, but I'm not actively moving my foot. It's just nice and relaxed. So I'm going to take that and then just give it a good pull. And then you just want to feel tightness you don't want to feel pain you can prop this one up you can put it down whatever's more comfortable for you and just hold that stretch for 30 seconds so after the 30 seconds give it a little break 10 to 15 second break and then do that a total of three times so then the next stretch is going to be a hamstring stretch so again there's a lot of different ways you can do that um, since i already have the strap i'm just going to go ahead and lie down again if you want to Leave your leg propped up when you're lying down. That'll take a little bit of pressure off of your lower back. Um, some people like it down because they feel like they get a better stretch, but I like leaving mine propped up. So you're, again, you're pulling that leg up with the strap. So your leg is relaxed. Try and keep that knee as straight as you can. If you're bending your knee as you're coming up, you're not getting that stretch in those hamstrings because now the, the hamstrings cross the knee joint the other way. So really try and keep that leg as straight as you can and just pull it up. If you can only go to here, that's fine. But if you can go higher and your knee starts bending, come back down. Really try and keep that knee straight. So if you just pull until you feel a nice good stretch through here, and then again, holding that for 30 seconds. After the 30 seconds, come back down, give it a little 10 second break, and then do that a total of three times. So then the next one is going to be uh, for the IT band. So the IT band is on the side here. It goes up into that TFL, that tensor fasciolata, which is the muscle belly. So that's really the part that you're stretching. But when you stretch the IT band, it comes down and crosses the knee joint on the outside. So again, the, if that whole area, even up into the hip is tight, it can cause that stiffness in the knee. So again, there's lots of ways to stretch the IT band. I've already got the strap. So I'm gonna go back down into the position. It's kind of like when you're starting with a hamstring stretch, 
This time I'd probably bring this leg down because you're gonna come up just a little bit, still keeping that knee straight, and then drop it over to the side. So now you should be feeling that stretch through here. Depending on where your tightness is, some people feel it more in the hip, some people feel it down at the knee, some people feel it kind of all the way through. It's different for everybody. Sometimes people, if they're a little lower, they feel it more. So if you can come up higher without bending your knee, coming up higher and bringing it over, sometimes people feel that stretch a little bit more. So just play around with it a little bit from the height and see which one feels better for you because everybody's just a little bit different. But still, same thing. So that's the 30 seconds. Take a little break in between and do that a total of three times. So then the next one is going to be for your quad. So the quad doesn't technically cross over the knee joint, but the quad goes into the quad tendon that, that connects to the kneecap or that patella. So if it's tight, again, it's pulling on that area, causing that stiffness and that tightness in that joint. So I am going to roll over onto my stomach this time. So I'm just going to switch legs so you can see it closest to you. This time, put the strap kind of around your ankle. And as you turn over, put the strap around your shoulder. That's usually the most comfortable way to do it. Now, I'm propped up on my elbows. Make sure you're comfortable doing it. So if you wanna lie all the way down, you can. Don't end up getting something else sore or tired by trying to stretch out. I like being on my stomach. You can do the same stretch on your side. But when I'm on the floor, you can see here it keeps my hip kind of in that neutral position. And so to get the best quad stretch, you want it to be kind of straight up and down. And then you're just gonna take that strap and pull your heel towards your bottom. Now, if you have a stiff knee, a tight knee, and then maybe a little injury in there, you might not be able to get to this far. That's okay. If you can only get to here, you wanna feel that tension, some pressure, but you don't wanna feel any pain. So just kind of holding it there, again, for that 30 seconds, and then come back down and do that a total of three times. So then the next one is gonna be a little bit activating the muscles now. So this is still kind of stretching out the joint, that stiffness in there, but now you're starting to get some movement into it to get those muscles activating. So you're gonna lie down again and go into a heel slide. So with a heel slide, it's just like it sounds. I like to prop this one up again just to kind of take pressure off the back and to give myself a little push. If I have a really stiff knee, all I'm doing is just sliding my heel up, trying to bend that knee. Now there's a couple different ways you can do it. If you're really tight and you're having a hard time pulling it up, you can take the other leg and kind of help pull it up like this. Or if that's not really comfortable, something that you can do, you can take the strap and then you can put it either like this and help pull it up to get that stretch. Or again, you can kind of take that strap and put it around your ankle. And then as you're sliding up, you're using that strap to get that little bit of over pressure to get that stretch. Once you get to where it's tight, you don't have to do a full 30 second stretch. I just hold it maybe three to five seconds and then slide back down. This is more kind of an active movement, so you're not really doing a long hold for this one. So maybe 10 reps, two sets of 10, a couple times a day, just really depends on what's going on with your knee. And so the last one is gonna be seated in a chair. So seated in a chair, you're gonna do heel slides again, but they're gonna be a little bit different than lying on the floor or on your bed or on the couch. So this time, if you have to start right here, depending on how st much stiffness you have, that's fine. You're just gonna slide your heel back while seated. And then as soon as you feel a little bit of tightness, you're gonna tap your heel a couple times. So once you do that, maybe three to five times, then you should be able to slide it back just a little bit more. And so then you're gonna keep tapping again, that you know, three to five times, and then slide back even more. But the goal is to try and keep your heel down on the floor while you're sliding. But that little bit of tap while you're doing it sometimes helps loosen up some of that stiffness and tightness. And then you should be able to slide back just a little bit more. And so again, you just wanna feel tension, pressure. You don't want it to be so painful that you have to like jerk back as soon as you're at that last spot because it hurts so much. So just getting that pressure, getting that tension, start back over and then do that again. So 
Um, again, you can do five or ten of these since it's a little bit of a process all the way through. And you can do these a couple times throughout the day. So you don't have to do a set number, but if, especially if you're working at a computer a lot or watching TV, this is a really easy one to do to help get that knee loosened up. So those are your top seven treatments for knee stiffness. And if you'd like to help support my channel, make sure and click on the link up there. And don't forget to subscribe where? Down there. Yeah. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better.